Alright guys, this is part 2 of a 2 part vlog of a game that I made with a deck of cards and some dice. This game is called Rebellion. If you guys want to know the rules and the setup, you can check out the other video which will link, be linked over here. If you guys want to continue watching this video because you're here from that one, then just continue on going. So I'm not going to speak too terribly long. Go ahead and enjoy the rest of the video and... Yeah. Alright, so moving into gameplay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go first. So this is my squad, Team Spyro slash Double Trouble. And over there we got Swarm and Bash, they're going to represent the uh, enemy side. So Team Spyro squad plus Double Trouble, we should win. Because we're just that good. Alright, so it's my turn. What I'm going to do, because it's the first turn, and I want to be a jerk about it, I'm going to go ahead and claim the royalty because I can. Um, that's a value of 28 total. It's a value of 28. What I have here, actually no, no, hold on, that's risky. That's a bad idea. Because if a black card shows up next time, I'm going to lose a lot of cards. Or probably lose that ace, and it's gonna suck a lot. Alright, so anyway, I'm gonna claim cards and feel whatever. So in order to do that, like I said, we need combinations. So this is a 10, and this card is worth 11, so I'm gonna use my jack to claim a 10. I use my 10 to claim a 9. I can almost claim this whole entire field, sweet. 7 to claim a 5, and queen to claim a 4. And that is the end of my turn, so all of this goes to my graveyard. And I draw from my deck, which is non existent right now, so graveyard. And now I gotta draw cards, so what I do? Is I take my graveyard and I shuffle it, mix it up, make sure it's random, as random as I possibly can get it. <clears throat> okay, I shuffle as I can shuffle eight cards, and I draw four cards from that. Okay, next thing we do is we refill the field so that way the enemy can go and build their deck or do some stupid things. And I uh, pass my turn to Bash and Swarm. Alright. As far as their side goes, let's see what they got. Oh wow, okay, not cool. So they got a Joker, a 6, a 9, and a 2. Now, if we want to be really, 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 uh... What's the word? Precise with our rules. We can say that Jokers, when they're trying to claim cards inside the royalty pile, are worth a total value of 0, uh, but they're wild anywhere else, as in they can beat any other card by themselves. So, in that case, these guys cannot take on the royalty because that's the value of 28, and what they have right now is 15 plus 2 is 17. They're not even more close to uh, actually being able to claim that. So, this is going to get claim cards in the field. Let's see. Use the Joker to claim a 10, 9 to claim a 9, and that is not going to happen because it has to be a value greater than. So, 9 to claim the 8 instead. And I'll use a 6 plus the 2, oh no, just a 6. 6 to claim a 4, that's going to be it for the turn. And, same thing, they add these cards to the graveyard, which is over here, and then they shuffle, I'm sorry, then they draw, then they, um, if they can't draw any more cards, they take what's here, and they shuffle it. <clears throat> and for specific order wise, just let you guys know, you would um, finish your turn, put your cards in your graveyard, draw as many cards as you can, if you can't, then shuffle your graveyard into your deck, and then continue drawing until you get to four. So shuffle this and get it, so it's in your deck right there. One, two, three, four. And on my next turn, if I can, I will try to take the royalty, but I don't know if I can. I'm pretty sure Chop Chop is looking at me like very sad. Look at him, Chop Chop's always like, bro, don't do it, don't do it, bro. <laughs> Alright, so it's my turn, and I have more than enough to take the royalty. So I actually have uh, 29 exactly. Because that's the value of 28, because 14 over there times 2 is 28. So 10 plus 10 plus 9 is 29. I'm gonna take that on royalty because I'm a jerk about it. So that card goes over here. Let's put that out to the side, show I took it down. And I have a queen left, so I'm using my queen to take my nine. And now all this goes to my graveyard. Just be right there. I draw four cards. Oh, I'm sorry. These are my four cards in my hand. We replenish the field. And the new royalty comes out. So this is what's oh where's my dice? I don't know where I put the dice. This is where the uh, next part of the game starts, which is the new arrival for the royalty. So first things first, go ahead and uh, draw all that, or flip that over, and we got a king of diamonds. So reveal both hands, and I have, wow, okay, it's not cool. Alright, so all my red cards go to the graveyard, and the highest of them goes to the bottom of the main pile. So that's this one, because jack is 11. So pretty sad about that. Oh, right, right, hold on my bad. For order purposes, the enemy... The person who didn't take down the royalty, going from left to right if you're playing with more people, so from... What was that, clockwise? Is that clockwise? That is clockwise. Anyway, starting from your left, go around the circle, whatever. 
Um, they go first. So these guys reveal all the cards, and sadly the Joker is worth a value of zero in this case, so I'm very sad about that. I actually had it before to where Joker would be the one automatically taken out, but then I changed it because I decided that wasn't fair. So 10 will be going to the bottom, and all these go to their graveyard, which is right there. And for mine, Joker, or Jack, this is the bottom, and all these go to my graveyard as well. This is graveyard. And now we uh, draw more cards to replenish our hands. Actually, before we do that, go ahead and roll the dice, see what we got. Got a value of 4, so anything 4 or less goes to the bottom as well, so this is the only card out here in the field. Goes to the bottom. A lot of shuffling, a lot of rolling, replenish that. And I'm going to go ahead and shuffle because I don't have any more cards to draw. And my enemy is going to go ahead and draw those 3 cards that they have. And that's pretty much it. When a new arrival comes out, that is exactly what happens. Now, the king has a value of 13. So because it's in the royalty pile, it's going to be value double, so it currently has a value of 26. So we need 27 or higher to take down the king for the next card, or for the next time around. One, two, three. Enemy, one, two, three. It's like Swarm and Bash. They're trying to plan some disgusting things with their uh, strategy. So it's their turn. I am my turn to pass it over. Let's see what they have. They have... Sweet! They have not that much as far as points go, so... We get to do our value adding. Or adding. So, like I said, number cards can add up as many times as you want to to take down face cards. But face cards cannot do the opposite. To take down the face cards. So, <clears throat> in this case, what we have is we have ourselves a uh, 8 and a 6. That can take down a queen, right? Is that, that's 14 total, and the queen's worth a value of 12. Mm -hmm. Let's see if I can do that more efficiently. How about... No, yeah, that has to be 8 plus 6. So it's a 14 to take down the queen. And they have 6 left, so they use a 6 to take down the 5. That's going to be it for the turn. So the graveyard, they draw cards, no more cards to draw, so they shuffle. And strategically speaking, you can you can uh, try to take the royalty as fast as you possibly can, while also claiming like the big cards. Because the royalty pile is full of big cards, full of face cards. Uh, those points are essentially all worth two except for aces. Aces are worth four. So it might be a hoop of you for strategy to just go ahead and take down the royalty as fast as possible and keep your opponent from actually building up a deck to take down things. So anyway, all that said, I'm going to go ahead and go for my turn. This is a 14. Mm -hmm. King is what? King was 26. So 14 plus 7 is 21. And 21 plus 10 is... Oh wait, that's way too much, hold on. 24, I can get 24 plus 28, so I can beat the king. I'm gonna do that because I'm gonna be a jerk about this. I'm gonna be that guy, so I'm taking down the king. I'm just gonna 7 to claim a 6. That is the end of my turn. So this goes to my graveyard. I draw my cards. Bash and crew are looking pretty sad because I keep taking down the royalty, because I'm a baller. Davey hate and doe, replenish the field. And we reveal the next royalty, which is going to be an Ace of Spades. That means all the black cards go to the bottom. 9-9, nine, nine, I get to choose because it's the same one. Yeah, whatever, 9 of Spades. Graveyard. Oh wait, sorry, I keep forgetting. The enemy does this first. Alright, so I have a Joker and a 4. The 6 will go to the bottom. Joker goes to the graveyard. And this goes to the graveyard too. Wait, no, sorry, this goes to the bottom of this. And, uh, set down of spades. That goes to the bottom of this. And I get to draw my cards. Shuffle. So just saw right there, I have one card left in my deck. So I drew that one, and then I shuffle my graveyard to replenish my deck. And this game pretty much just keeps on going until you run out of royalty piles, like I said before, so. And we continue on. So let's see, we got the new royalty already out. It's my enemy's turn now. So let's see, they have a queen, five, eight, and two. Hmm. Alright, so perfect, perfect, perfect point for explanation. So, like I said before, kings are worth the value of 13, queens are worth the value of 12. What I cannot do is I cannot combine a queen with a two to try to claim the king because face cards have to claim cards on their own when they're facing cards inside the field. It's their royalty. 
but they were royalty at one point in time, so it's offensive. So anyway, Queen's going to be using Calamity 10. Let's see, 8 plus 5 is 13. So we need another 2, just claim the king. This king is 13, I have to keep that value. So that's a whole entire 15. And that's going to end this person's turn. Take, draw a card, shuffle the deck. And the world continues to turn. So let's see, what other cards are we going to get? Are we going to get an ace anytime soon out here? Yes, let's get a double. Alright, so we get an ace. I'm going to go ahead and reveal what I have. Mm. Alright. So that ace is worth a value of 14 now because I have no twos to make it down to a value of one. And there's actually a two out there. So what I can do, strategically speaking, is I can go ahead and claim this two for now. Uh, it's not going to be in my deck. Or sorry, it's not going to be in my hand until I have to shuffle. <laughs> and I just shuffled too. Darn. Okay. Mm. I, I want that ace. That's four points right there. If I can get that ace, I'll, I'll be able to like uh, feel good about myself. So what I do is I do 10 plus 5, that's 15. to a 14. So it's going to be claimed. Use my queen to claim myself a 9. Or a 6. Use my 9 to claim a... 9 to claim a 2. So I can have that for the next ace. I think there's one more ace left. Or wait. I don't remember. You can also do some card counting too, which is technically illegal, but nothing. And now it's my enemy's turn, so they're gonna go ahead and reveal, and they got a Joker again. Stop having the Joker, jeez. And see, that's not fair. They, they got a Joker on the first deal out, which is like the coolest way to get it. So, Joker to claim a Jack, 8 to claim a 7, 9 to claim an 8. And the four can't do anything because those are match values. It has to be graded in. So they can't do anything with that. Now, everything in their hand and also everything they use goes to the graveyard. And they draw four more. And I really want to, I really want to take down the royalty. Again. Oh, look, another ace. Oh, a joker. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. What do I have? What do I have? Uh, if I can claim that joker, I can counter their joker. Because that's five points right now. That they have that I can't do anything about. So I think I think despite my inhibitions, because I can really I can take down the royalty right now, but they're gonna be able to claim that Joker next turn. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and uh, claim that Joker. This is a very strong hand to have, but it's worth it. So I'm gonna draw, and I could potentially have that in my hand next time around. So cool. And slowly but surely, I'm building up a sizable deck in silver there. Now, as I said before, there are many very, very variations you can have to this. If you want to play with two deck of cards, uh, go for it. That would make the game a, little, a lot more interesting. You can have more people play. Um, I think if you play with more people with the same, like just one deck of cards, uh, you might need you might need to do three instead of four. But even when you do that, it's going to be hard to take down royalty that way, especially when you consider everybody has cards that are messing with each other. So anyway, go on. This turn. Mm, they have a two, they're gonna claim the ace because they're jerks. So two to claim the ace because a two claim the ace. Take it down. And they use a king to claim the queen. They're just gonna claim everything here. Ten to claim the four, queen to claim the three, and they said four white. They have a lot of points right now. I'm a little bit concerned about that. Draw the next card. Shuffle their deck. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to like every single turn take down the royalty because I need to uh I need to. I need to end this game because it's starting to look bad for me. I, got, I, can, I can feel it in my heart. That's like it's looking really bad. Right. Take those cards and let's see what I have: seven, six, ten, and a Joker. Yes. All right. So I can use my Joker. Joker for the nine. And do I have enough? I have to beat twenty-eight. Six plus seven, that is thirteen. Plus ten is twenty-three. Is not enough. Darn it, that's not enough. Okay, so um, 6 to claim the 5, 10 to claim the 7, and 7 to claim the 5. So there we go. Take from my hand. Graveyard, join the cards. Just there. There we go. Right. 
enemy's turn. Let's see what they got. Hmm. Can they take on royalty? The answer is no. Alright, so some more random things to talk about while we're going through this game. Uh, this game's actually a really nice game to play. Oh, sorry. This game's a really nice game to play if you're trying to teach somebody math or trying to get better at your math skills because I've noticed that since I've been playing this game, I'm really good at uh, adding things now. So let's see. They need to be at a 12. So I can go 8 plus 5. It's going to be a 13. Just going to claim that queen. Uh, let's see. 4 plus 2 is 6. So the best I can do is claim a three. So I'm gonna do that. And graveyard. Switch to the deck. One, two, three, four. There's a place on there. There we go. Better. Four cards. My turn. Let's see what I got. Ooh, an ace. Hmm. Can I take down the royalty? See, I have, right now I have 14 plus 5, that's 19, plus 4, that's 23, plus 6, that's 29, that's perfect. Let me make sure I got that right. Uh, that's 10, 15, plus, yep, it's 28. I'm taking down the royalty, because F the police. No offense to the police. For social media watch this. Don't kill me. So it's four cards for me, and this build is replenished. Flip this card over, it's a red card. Enemy goes first. This card reveals. Let's reveal everything. Ends the nine. And I go next. What do I lose? What do I lose? Please don't be an ace. Oh, it's gonna be a king. Close enough. I'm like, I'm kind of okay with that because kings worth two points. So I'm a little bummed out too. Two new cards. And it's now their turn. Right. Ooh. They can take down the royalty, so they will do that, because why not? So they need an ace, plus a king, they need one more than a joker. Or a jack. Actually, no. Oh, yeah, they need, you know. A king is 20, yeah, they can beat that with this. King is 26 right now, so 13 plus 14 is more than 26, sorry. Right, right, sorry, math, math is hard. So they claim that card, they use their queen to claim an eight. And I really hope I don't lose an ace next turn, which I think I'm going to lose an ace. I feel like in my, in the deep of my heart, I'm going to lose an ace. Just four victory points. Let's give them cards. Place the field. Flip this card over. It's going to be a red card. And yes, I don't lose an ace. All right. My, I lose a queen though. I still have more points. I'm losing. It's a graveyard. Shuffle my graveyard. Team Sparrow is looking pretty strong though. I mean, I have I have high hopes. But all that said, I keep taking down the royalty, which is actually really shooting myself in the foot quite a bit. I don't know. It might have been more advantageous just to claim more cards up there, because those points do add up. Oh, wait, dash roll. Oh. Alright, so we're back. My battery died. My apologies. And I think uh, I was doing the enemy's turn as far as the new royalty. So the new rival showed up. They lost a 10. So the 10 goes to the bottom. And we draw a new card, we roll the dice. The dice shows eight. So any card less eight or less. Or that's not eight, that's uh yeah, it's eight. Eight or less will go to the bottom, so six, five, and three are all eight or less. Or less than eight, so it's the bottom. And we replenish three new cards. And now it is my turn. I think. Oh, is it my turn? I don't remember whose turn it was. Yep, I want to say it's my turn. Alright, let's go. Yeah, because I didn't lose the ace because of the move. Right. Alright, so anyway, let's go this. Let's go this. And that. I need more points, so I'm trying to claim as much as I can now. Alright. Graveyard. Deck. More cards for me. And now it's my enemy's turn. Oh, I guess, yeah, there's a card to Sir Deck. But... Mm. Can they do Queen for a Jack? Uh, so 8 plus 3 equals 11, so it's going to be to 10. 7 for the 6. It's going to end their turn. Hard 
to shuffle not that many cards. Shuffling is hard. Three. That's three cards. Alright, we continue on. One, two, three. My turn. Alright, I'm gonna do a smart thing. I'm gonna build my deck up because I need more points. And this thing's only two. Yeah, it's only two row, two left. Uh, Joker for the king. <coughs> Ace for the nine. Nine for the who? Can't do that. Nine for the four and six will be left over. Give me a little bit sad. Their turn. I got the other Joker. No aces, so two won't be all that useful. Well, actually, no, two will be useful. Queen, no, up, oh, up, oh, my bad. Can't, can't combine those cards. Keep forgetting. So queen plus a ten. I get that. Ten for the nine. Joker for the queen, and two will be left over. Cards inside the main deck, so that means royalty is all that's left now. So, uh, things just got really, uh, really intense. Now, like I said, the game doesn't end until the royalty pile is gone, so we're gonna keep on going to claim those cards. I'm, I need more points, so I'm gonna claim what's left here. So I'm taking a 10 for the 6, 6 for the 7, or 6 for the 3, and 5 for the 2. And there's it for mine. So I get the first shot of royalty to see if they can claim it. And of course they can. So it's gonna be Jack plus, oh whatever, everything I have for the Jack, it doesn't matter. It's gonna be more than enough. I'll claim that. Uh, it's a lot more cards. Flip it over, it's gonna be a king of clubs. I have no cards that go to the main deck, so yes, it's good. And they have Oh, uh, they lose one that goes to the main deck. It's a new card. And this one gets put into main pile. And you know what? I need that card. So I'm gonna use my ace to claim it. That's gonna be enough for my turn. Take that bird. Oh, sorry. Next card is mine. So King is all that's left in the royalty power right now. The uh, main deck has been exhausted. Things are starting to look a little bit scary. I don't know, this might be a close game. I think last time around when I had all the cards get used, it was an extremely close game. Just gonna see what they got. They got enough to claim the king. They're gonna go ahead and do that because that's all they have left to do. So king is theirs. And so starts the end game. So that's gonna be it for as far as the gameplay. Let's go ahead and add up these points. And I'll do that in a separate clip. So let me go ahead and keep it like this. Let you guys know I'm not cheating. Or anything, so this is theirs. It's a swarm and bash. We go here and spiral squad, which is my squad, plus double trouble. We'll be hanging out over here. And these guys are referees, make sure nothing changes. Nothing happens, no cheating. All right. All right, so here's for the point counting. I actually put swarm too far high or too high, so I'll pull these down. Alright, so um, I'm going to count up the enemies first, so let's go ahead and separate the cards. Number of face cards are all worth 2 points, number of cards are worth 1 point, pieces are worth 4 points, and jokers are worth 5 points. And I think we both have a joker, so it's essentially cancelled out. Jeez, I have a lot of face cards. There we go. So here's theirs, their number of cards. Oh, so joker, joker A's number of cards, face cards. This is for them, this is for us, us being the cool people. So I got three aces, that's good. So I got the most aces. It's good to know. I don't have that many face cards. We also cancel. So I'm gonna add. There's up first to see if I beat them, so let's see. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So this is a pile of 15. Let's see. 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 9 times 2 is 18. So 15, 18, 4, 5, so 9. Jeez, give me part one. I need a calculator. Sorry guys, hold on, I need a calculator. I don't want to mess this up. 15 plus 18 plus 4 plus 5. That's what's going on, so let's add that up. <coughs> 15, 18, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So they got 42 right now. And I think, I think it might be tied because I think 42 is the total in the deck. It's only a certain amount of points. One here. One, two, three is uh, six. Twelve. So four times three is twelve. And five. So I have twenty-one plus six plus twelve plus five equals forty-four. Woo! Cool blue wins. All right. So you go, guys. My grand total is 24 or 44 points. Their grand total is 42. Therefore, I win because I'm cool and I'm blue. And I'm trying to figure out what was the difference. I think, I think it's because I have more of these cards at the end of the day. I took the time to claim these cards. And there you go, guys. That's it for this game. So, <coughs> this has been the deck builder game. Um, I haven't really named the game. Um, I think I named it Rebellion. So, we'll call it Rebellion, the deck builder game for broke people like me. And uh, that's really it. So let me know what you guys think of the game. Let me know if you guys have played it. Let me know if you guys will test it out. I think it's a very fun game. I think it's something that you can actually have a lot of fun with. Just, you know, maybe maybe you can add another person in. You have to change the card values a little bit. But it should be a very straightforward game. And it is a nice introduction into deck builder games. Uh, if you don't actually have the money to buy a deck builder game out there. Because the prices can become uh, expansive. And it can be a little intimidating to actually buy a deck builder game. Especially considering the fact that a lot of them have expansion packs, which I think are BS, but hey. The only expansion pack you need for this one is just another deck of cards, and boom, expansion pack. Oh, you want that? You want another expansion pack? Boom, another deck of cards. Are you good? Let's do it. So anyway, that's gonna be, like I said, that's going to be it for this game. Uh, this has been Rebellion. This is what I'll call it. This is the deck builder game alternative with just a pack of cards, a single pack of 52 cards, and two dice. Uh, Spy Skylander figures are optional. You don't have to have those. But if you do, I would recommend using them because they do make things a little bit cooler. I'm just going to add them all up here so while I'm talking about So anyway, that's really it for this video. So if you guys want to check out some of the other stuff, you can check out my main YouTube channel, which is where I do my commentaries, which is youtube.com slash coolbluedota. That's C-U-L-B-L-U-D-O-T-A. That will be linked somewhere over, I'll probably leave a corner over there. Somewhere over there. So click on that if you want to check out some of my Dota commentaries because I am a Dota 2 commentator. Uh, hobbyist, not necessarily like professional or anything, but hey, maybe one day the internet will say, hey, cool, blue, do things professionally. And I'll say, okay, sure, I'll quit everything and do it. Just not anytime soon, because money, money is uh, of a necessity for surviving and stuff. I think that's all of them. Did I get all of them? Nope. Yep, yeah, I got all of them. All right, and as far as other things, uh, this is a vlog channel, which is what you guys probably watch this on. Uh, which is youtube.com slash coolbluevlogs. That's C U L B L U V L O G S. That is where I post all these vlogs for random things, like maybe me playing some card games, or maybe you'll see one about uh, the community. I think the last vlog that I did, or the last vlog I did a while ago was, uh, I don't know, oh, oh yeah, YouTube channels I watch. That was the last one I've done. So I haven't done a vlog in a long time, but um, yeah, here's another vlog, so there you go. Congratulations. It's a boy. And as far as everything else goes, uh, there is the last channel, which is Casters Network, a group created to help casters come together, collect, collaborate, and create with one another. Uh, that is where you can go. Uh, if you want to just find out about some new casting talent, go check out that channel. If you want to find out about some new event that's going on, go check out that channel. Uh, it's highly Dota focused right now, but it is open to all, whoops, it's open to all uh, communities. So if you're a caster for StarCraft, go ahead and check us out. We we'll, might be able to find some connections for you, and we'll be more than happy to have you. If you're just a fan of esports or anything like that in relation in general, check us out as well. We can help you out. We have, or we will be having help videos for like how to cast, how to do YouTube stuff, how to do certain things, uh, how to make a better quality this, how to make a better quality that, uh, pro tips from blah. Um, stuff is still in the pipeline for Casters Network, but we do have a lot of potential because currently we have a lot of interviews and that's really about it. So that's it for that channel, um, and that's going to be it for this video. So. 
like this video if you liked it, dislike if you disliked it, please leave a comment below, let me know what you guys think of this video in general. Uh, if you guys want me to do more random games, sure, I'll do that. And uh, that's really it, so hope you guys enjoyed it, and as always, I'll see you guys whenever!